Hey guys, before we start this video, I wanted to give a special shout out to the newest sponsor of the show, which is BoxMafia.com. Go check them out for sweet hoodies, t-shirts, and you know other uh, boxing related apparel. It's sweet. Check it out. But with that said, let's dive right into it. Okay guys, so I, I wanted to not be early again. Hopefully this actually goes through. Who knows? Because it is boxing. But we have <laughs> Fury versus Wilder 3 confirmed. So, you know, obviously the Anthony Joshua fight fell apart because there was a rematch clause in place and Fury didn't honor it. And then um, Wilder took it to court and won, right? So now he has the uh, the clause, you know, the reasoning and the right to have a rematch. So what should we expect here, right? So realistically, what we've figured out is that Tyson Fury is a more skilled and talented boxer, but Deontay Wilder has the the ability to knock fury out right you know if it had been a little bit more you know just maybe a, a tiny bit flusher maybe fury hadn't gotten up as fast he would have won that first fight right and that's that's real he would have won that first fight if that had happened so there's there's no way that fury is just gonna coast in here with no threat right but i think the i think the real story is one, how serious is Fury going to take it? Because we know that Tyson Fury can can be um, different <laughs> depending on the night of the fight, right? And two, will the changes that Wilder makes hurt him or benefit him? Now, what do I mean by that? You know, when it comes to a guy like Deontay Wilder, who is one of the most naturally gifted guys in boxing, and, and by that I mean he, he seems to be able to do well without having the normal book of boxing, um, when they, when guys like that, when guys that have that inherent ability to just knock someone into a different planet, when they focus too much on the fundamentals, and this is going to sound crazy. So like against what I normally say, when they focus too much on the fundamentals, sometimes they can get overwhelmed by the knowledge they're trying to learn and they can over focus on doing those fundamentals and they kind of lose their, their craziness right? The wildness that got them to the position where they were in. And because they don't have enough time to get good at those fundamentals, right? They go in there and they just can't execute the way they used to, right? Strangely, the wilder I want to show up is one that just is a wild man. Because I think that realistically, there's no amount of time where Wilder is going to come in and be a more technical, skilled boxer than Tyson Fury is. That's just not going to happen. But what could happen is Wilder could come in and just knock him out, right? With a good with a good shot. That's totally possible. So, you know, what do we expect here? Realistically, I think Tyson Fury should obviously be the favorite. Wilder hasn't won either of the fights, but he still has the ability to knock Tyson Fury out. So this is still one of those up in the air fights, right? Because Wilder's never out. There's never a fight where Wilder can't win. There's no fight on planet Earth that Wilder doesn't have the ability to win. Because when you have that kind of power, like there's, like I just said, there's no way that you can just be written off um, 100%. So, you know, I'm, I'm not excited for it at all, honestly. You might be able to tell just from this video. But realistically, I think that's how it's going to go. Hey guys, thanks for listening to another episode of Roundhouse Radio. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to know what's in my gym bag, I have all the affiliate links of what's in my gym bag in the bio. If you disagreed with me, make sure to comment. Uh, if you agree with me, also make sure to comment, man. I love hearing what you guys' opinions are, and I love uh, hearing points that I missed and points that I'm wrong about because it helps me grow. It helps me get better. And uh, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, man. I hope you guys listen and hang out and you know grow with this community because we're gonna have an awesome community here at Roundhouse Radio. Thanks, guys.